Yeah, starts the pick, regardless of if they get Lissandra or not. Lissandra is much more counterable. Mm -hmm. Keen might have something up his sleeve, right? Yeah, yeah. Haven't seen too much of Keen's counter picks. And if you force Apex to take Lissandra, then obviously you get to see that and you get to pick what you want into it. Yeah, so Apex now looking to answer. As you mentioned, that Lissandra's still up and covering the Gragas right now for Shrimp. Kindred still available. Yeah, Shrimp's been banned out every game. The Nidalee and Rek'Sai every single time. Went on Evelyn two games in a row. Had to play it into Elise last time, but this is not a good, not a good time for him. Yeah. Elise with the CC really has a large advantage early game. And Evelyn without the CC, she's basically her CC is I kill you. That's death. <laughs> Try to take you off the map, but it's, you're not it's a found form of ground control. You yeah. can't move. It's you the best form. Can't input any commands. But Gragas is going to be the pickup for Shrimp. Maybe got some disruption, so that when Phoenix One come charging forward, just split the team up. Zyra, though, is still available for Phoenix One. Gate had huge success with it in the previous game with some of those grasping roots. And I think you have to take it here, too, because if you give over Caitlyn Zyra and a special plays it, then that could be a deadly combo that there isn't really much that would counter that in lane. Yeah, Pyrian looking back at that Lucian for the second time. If they end up taking the Ezreal here or the Lucian and taking their AD carry, it's a little strange because you don't have to show it, but I guess yeah. they go for it. So far, it's the same team composition. Lucian, once again, for MASH. He actually did the second most damage on his team. Of course, Pyrian, player of the game, did the most in game two. Mm -hmm. So that Trundle, once again, going into the top lane. Ray could try to take the Aurelia and just hammer Zig out of the map. It's true, he did show that his bruiser prowess is just a little bit better at the moment. Zig got a large part of that team fight and became an unkillable tank at the end. But the Aurelia was able to have a really good play where he assassinated two people, got into the back line. Let's see if he goes for it again. I assume it's the pickup just because Aurelia is incredibly strong. That or Fiora, which he had played in game one and found success. Mm -hmm. Looking at it, and it is going to be locked in Fiora for Ray yeah. against Trundle this time. All right, and because of the fact that we had the Lissandra last pick from P1, they're saving their last pick for Keen finally, making sure that he has a matchup that he's comfortable with, and that he might even have something up his sleeve to deal with it if they pick it again. Because you could pick the exact same composition here as P1 and go Zyra Lissandra and then nothing has changed for them. Yeah, they've got 30 seconds. Really, that very early level one play enabled them to use their composition very effectively. This time, though, Apex are going to have to be on the lookout for it if Phoenix One go for it. Twisted Fate hover. Twisted Fate is a bold blind pick. Oh, yeah. We'll see what he ends up going with here. There's the Zyra. It's locked in. Still exactly hovering. Exactly the same. Yeah, it is locked in. That's Lissandra and Zyra. So Phoenix One running back the exact same comp that won them game number two. It's the most convincing win that they've had out of their two. It's the yes. most convincing game they've had. So I guess the composition worked out for them. Saint, I guess he saw this one coming, decided not to ban it, that they can deal with it. And that's where you say, yeah, we'll let them have it again because it wasn't us messing up. It was, or it wasn't the composition. It was us just messing up and then they got an advantage and it snowballed. So that level three, you kind of had to shake off and say, that was the game right there for us. We couldn't get back in. So now reset, come into this champion select, allow them to have the same thing. And get this last pick for Keen. Yeah, I think I think you do that for, uh, for Ray and allow Ray to go crazy. Mm -hmm. Once again, playing to the top lane. It's worked for Apex in most of their wins, if not all of them. Yeah, I think that playing to Ray is a strategy that's been working out for them, but as they move up the standings, Apex need to demonstrate that they can do more than just that. But the Zillion pick here for Keen, Zillion, incredibly annoying champion to play against, especially with a pick composition. You pick somebody off, you just blew multiple ultimates, possibly one or two, to actually pick that person up, and Zillion's just going to blow one and get value out of it. Yeah. Phoenix One, we'll see if they can break through the regeneration, the life reboot of Zillion. Whereas Apex, once again, playing to that top lane. 
We'll have to see if Keen can enable Ray to go off once again. Game number three, Phoenix One taking their most convincing win yet, making their most convincing game and being allowed to get the exact same composition and make it happen. Yeah, it's a pick comp. You pick Zillion into it, make sure that you have the revive. It's hard to pick somebody off in that situation. You can do it, but they aren't actually dead. Yeah. And the other composition is actually quite good. I think that it's something that they saw it coming. They have the Fiora for Ray, and now they have uh, the Gragas, so they have the early CC for Shrimp. So that same thing that happened last game, uh, will not happen again because of that CC with the body slam early on. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see if that will happen. Keep those predictions updated by tweeting hashtag P1Win or hashtag APXWin. Tell everyone who you think will take down the win in this Game 3. Will Phoenix 1 finally get their first match win of the Summer LCS split, or will Apex put a damper on their Game 2 win? Yeah, you have to close out the series. That one game win does not mean anything if you're not able to get that one in the column. Only time it means anything is if there's a tie. Yeah. And nobody's tied for zero wins at the moment. Yes. Welcome to Closest team was Team Liquid who beat Phoenix One yesterday. Yeah. Uh, Piglet went on record too and said that uh, Phoenix One, he doesn't think they're good at all. Oh. Once again, Zentinel losing some Spiderlings. Yeah, he's having to dodge a lot. Forced to flash as Apex go very aggressive. And Apex get control of this jungle. They get lane swap wards down for the first time in the series, I believe. So they'll be seeing the entry and who goes where on the top side, especially since the bottom lane is actually already over here. So you could stay in a standard lane, no problem. Look at all those seeds that are being set up right now. Yeah. But the problem is, is nobody's going to come across there and be like, I hope there's nobody here. What are four <laughs> seeds? <laughs> I wonder if there's someone in this bush. Yep. Those stars surely mean that there's no one in the bush. Aurelian Soul. <laughs> That's always again. the best. That's yeah. always the best. Um, but this time it is Apex initiating the lane swap. As you said, they're even invading into the jungle of Phoenix One. Yeah, Gates actually just hanging out in the jungle, making sure nobody uh, is there. So he checks every buff or every camp. And looking at the composition once again for Apex, the Caitlyn helps their 4 1 siege. I think that Caitlyn is a fantastic pick for Apex, and that they're pretty much going to pick it every time that they have Ray on a split pusher, just because the trap line can be used for your own sieging when you're pressing up, or for stopping the enemy siege and making them take a large chunk of damage so they back off. Follow. Shown some good performance. You can see a special sort of dancing just outside of vision of Pyrian. Yeah, just hanging out mid. I think there's going to be a lot of tension here in this mid lane. Uh, Pyrian had an incredible game last game, so I think that they're going to try to shut him down a little bit more. Yeah, you can see the what split push cam. That's actually the lane swap cam. That's that's. <laughs> I have a vision of both of those lanes at once and the mid lane and the junglers. We can see oh, everything. Oh, Claw goes turret forward. Shots. Keen. Oh, flash <laughs> used by Keen to escape from the potential gank. However, that means that flash is down. Sentinel can continue to play aggressive on this side of the map. Yeah, he gets to take up that blue buff, he gets to take it on his strong side. No problem, and that's going to be this turret going down a little bit faster as well. And this is the thing, can P1 do anything with this? Because look at that top side. That minion wave is gone. They have to wait a couple more seconds until it, cra oh. until it crashes. And turret goes down. Mashgate and Zig are going to split the gold locally. We'll see if Ray will be able to get solo gold on this as the rest of his split push backs away. Yep. Yeah, he gets all the solo gold for his own. So minor advantage to Ray. They Though, still end up being really close in uh, in gold. Yeah. Actually, gonna look at that again. Now Zig got solo gold. Oh, did he? Yeah, he got solo gold. It's uh, it's 400 if you get solo gold, 300. Uh, if there's three people there, then everybody gets uh, 200 gold. I see. Yeah. 
Continuing to see Pyrian farm it up against Keen as Zig will finally be forced to back away from the minion wave. Currently a few CS over Ray. He got a bit of a later recall than Zig, so he will eventually catch up. And once again, the lane swap turret shove continues. This time, though, it looks like Shrimp and Zentinel will get a little bit more time in the jungle of each other before catching up for that quick turret. Is Sentinel looking for a flash cocoon over the wall? No, he's, he's, he's clearing up the... He's just clearing it. Raptor camp. Yep, left one little one there, so the timer is not activated just yet. It won't be respawning anytime soon. And the push is happening again! Let's yeah. bring up those cams! Once again, the shove between the two tier ones. Looks like a... Uh... Right now, Phoenix One have a bit of a lead, though Apex catch right back up. Oh, it's gonna be close. Who's gonna win the race? Oh, P1. Phoenix, Phoenix One, again. But again, they split the gold. Oh, Ray has a gigantic wave there. He's gonna have to wait for this whole thing. So they're gonna push topside. Ray, Ray's waiting for that local gold so long because he wants it to actually be a free. So he has to wait for all these caster minions to die so it'll bounce. It's gonna be some damage top. It's not gonna be that bad, but he's gonna lose a wave. Yeah, finally clears out the turret. He's able to get local gold, but very large amount of time spent yeah. just sitting and waiting. Yeah, and that hits the six minute mark. This is gonna be Rift Herald here for Zig. Ray on the opposite side. No way he can get there in time. And once again, Rift Herald, very early take by Phoenix One, special. He's gonna get a ward over the wall. That's spotted out by Zentinel. Oh, don't don't get too chicken. Oh, there. Oh, whoa, flat. That's not chicken. Zentinel's going a very aggressive. Here comes Pyrian. He's got level six. Oh, he they didn't lock down Keen. Can they get it? No. He's able to get his ultimate off. Pyrian is stunned. He's going to flash away, and he will almost certainly go down. There's the auto attack. First blood, Keen, with a sliver of HP and Zentinel. Sentinel is the next target. There goes another auto attack. He's going to drop. Apollo gets that. And what was looking like it was going to be so good for P1 turned so bad. And Apex pick up two kills super early on in this game. And now they're going to get the Ocean Drake. And they even stopped Rift Herald. Oh, wow. Apex one hit away from losing that trade. But they're able to bring it back. And Apex are taking this Ocean Drake right now. They now have a 1,200 gold lead and the first Drake. And now Ray is on the top side of the map. So they could look for that once again, but Zentinel pulls the trigger. Expressional's not going to take any more damage there. A lot of mana used, abilities used as well. And then they... Oh, good, good, did... Oh. Did Gate cancel an auto there? I don't know. Tragedy strikes. Ooh, if they had killed him, then they wouldn't have had these speed ups. Yeah. They wouldn't have had these bombs flying through, and then he wouldn't have died. Maybe able to turn it around at that point. And even using uh, the Elise Q and the Elise W on a Braum, who's got his shield up, he's just absorbing that damage. It, effect it does zero at that point. Sentinel trying to make a play happen, trying to be decisive in that, but unfortunately, Phoenix not able to follow through. And he's now clearing out on this side of the jungle. Not to mention that those kills went over to Keen and Apollo. Yep. The only way that could have been worse is, is if they were double stacked on Ray. <laughs> Who was there? That's true. That's true. Giving them to Ray is uh, <laughs> definitely a disaster at that point. He would be able to be completely fine with his cull, because right now it puts him in a very passive state. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas Zig, whenever you get a cull on Trundle, it's actually not that bad at all. He usually wins most matchups early, and this is kind of doubling down on that and using that as a, uh, just, just because I'm Trundle, I get to go ahead and get this much extra gold. I believe it was uh, Duke was doing it at uh, MSI, mm, purchasing yep. it very early. Special clears out award as Zig head toward the bottom Ray will eventually meet up with him as blue buffs are now being gifted over towards those mid laners. <laughs> I like how he put the bomb on Shrimp so Shrimp couldn't leave. He can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> you are my jungler. You will help me here. He could, he could maybe start to leave, but... Yeah. 
has to stay around for it to go off. Picks up the Scuttle Crab. Another Ocean Drake coming up next. That could, that could be big. Oh, Keen gets some good damage on the Furion. Oh boy, the auto attacks, if they come through. Oh boy, yeah, he's able to get the Claw out. Yep, Keen taking some Tower Shots, Shrimp off on the side, and Zentinel's gonna face check this. Ooh, oh, he misses. was ready for that, he was ready. Zentinel immediately warded and threw the Cocoon. And that's really good. You have to be able to predict and be ready for those things. Anticipate them to happen. And that's how you get that like Captain Jack cleanse off. Is you, is you know the yellow card's going to come out. Yeah. You don't react. You uh, prep yourself for it. So you don't have to go off a of pure reaction. Go off of anticipation. Oh, Ray with level 6. He's completed his TMI. And he has a long sword. It's effectively even in stats outside of the six level 6 for Ray. And Zig still only level 5. So... Yeah, there it's going to even right back up. Ray wants the vital. Oh, come on. Yeah, there he goes. Those face vitals. Every time. Yeah, but I think Ray is trying to bait this. Ray's taking a lot of damage. Yeah, Shrimp hanging out. Does see him on a ward, though, so Zig knows that Shrimp is there. Doesn't fall for the bait. Plays it safe. He's going to return to the position that he's been in for the past two games, past hour and a half of... Letting Ray shove minions in over and over. Yeah, he does freeze it though. It does have a cannon minion and it'll push towards his turret for, I believe, two more waves. So it's actually, uh, actually a pretty good deal for him. Duos now head towards the top side of the map. Mash and Apollo farming it up as best they can. They don't have a tier one to fall back to. No, yeah, they could be wrapped around on quite easily, but Sentinel just now has the flash backup for the flash cocoon. Yeah, once again, going for the sight stone, prioritizing yeah. vision on that duo lane side of the path. A really early sight stones from these junglers. Uh, Shrimp got it very early in his Evelyn game, uh, has the tracker's knife as well. And providing vision is just absolutely crucial as a jungler when you're playing these types of slow matchups. Yeah, such a very important thing to not die. <laughs> well, to know that you're going to die sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, definitely, you don't want to die. Whoa, oh, Burian takes Burian. a lot that of ulti damage. Top. Special's only level 5, so we can't knock it up. And there goes some damage yeah. onto the turn as well. There were double traps there, but you still have that half second, or I guess even a quarter second, to flash. Because the game updates in ticks, uh, so it checks every quarter second, I believe, for certain status effects. And it goes, okay, okay, okay. And so what happened is he got it in between it checking. So he's able to flash away. If you double bomb, sometimes it'll do that, sometimes it won't. And you have a little bit of reaction window. If you're just mashing it over and over again. Yeah, well, mash is in the top lane. Yeah. As Ray and Shrimp once again invade into Phoenix One's jungle, they oh. get three deep wards, and they've got now got a lot of vision around the mid lane. Seems like Apex are putting a lot of emphasis on keeping Pyrian locked down and preventing him from going off and taking control of the game like he did in the second game. And I think that they're going to put a lot of pressure onto him. The Zillion pick is something against Lissandra that she has very low mobility. She has to use that claw, and you can still even put bombs on like the entrance of the claw, right? You can double bomb where it's being telegraphed that it's coming from, or it's coming to. Mm. And you slow her down, and she's forced to use it as an escape tool as opposed to a damage tool. So there's a lot of ways that you can exploit her with Zilla. Ocean Drake has just spawned, and the team send four members each. And it looks like Apex are even going to start it out. Double Teleport is available for both of the solo laners. Nash is going to push this wave out down bottom. He really wants the CS, which may cost them the Drake. Yeah, Ray is actually going Ooh. to engage on Zig. Flash, oh, he procs against the wall. gets the fourth. Ray is fully healed. There goes a flash for Zig. Ray, ooh, doesn't ooh. follow up. Yeah, there's that vital two on the sweet side there for Ray. But nope, not going to be able to pick him up. And he's actually just going to walk right back out. He's going to rely on the Trundle Passive to get HP back. The question mark ping onto Rift Herald. Why isn't this raised yet? Why is this not mine? Why isn't this mine yet? 
Yeah, so that was Ocean Drake picked up by Apex with Mash splitting on the bottom lane. Wasn't able to group up with his team and help them out. Help oh. them out. Yeah, not at all. However, he does have a 20 CS lead over Apollo, which should even up the gold difference between the two after the kill that Apollo got. Yeah. It's, it's closer to like 170-ish at the moment. So they're rather close in gold. And Mash, he's been farming away, but he can't tunnel on that when there's a wave that's eventually going to push towards you. Uh, and there's an objective that's being contested. And of course, it wouldn't have made too much of a difference because of the fact that Ray was basically bullying Zig in the top side and taking all of his HP away. So Zig didn't really have a way into the fight. Zig would have had to rely on maybe interrupting his teleport and Tyrion. Takes the claw to safety once again. Special tried to call the early take of the of the claw. Mm -hmm. So he threw it off to the left side. Yeah. Can't, early cancel culling because it looked like he was gonna be no good. Yeah, Mash and Gate are gonna catch up with Kyrian in the mid lane as Apollo and Special once again roam to keep Kyrian locked down. Yeah, Trim pulls the oh! trigger on the gate and drops him right quick. Body slam flash from Shrimp. And then the explosive cast backwards by the book there. Gate doesn't even have a moment to react. Can't even flash away. Pretty much dead at that point. Not level six, doesn't have the disengage. And then he's, get, he's gonna get picked up. That's two kills to Apollo already. Yeah, very successful for Apex. Finally, it pays off. And the objective they look for after is the Rift Herald. Shrimp starts it off and Ape Ray is on the other side of the map. Will he use his teleport just to get the Rift Herald, or are they going to give it over to Shrimp? I don't know. Zig is actually trying to bully Apex He's put away. It... Yeah. Oh, he didn't make it through! He didn't make it through! Uh oh. Ugh. Special still has his flash, though. Zig is going <laughs> to escort him out. Oh. Uh, the Rift Herald actually, like, started chasing Zig instead. Yeah. That could have been really bad for a Special. He would have had to blow his flash if anybody else was there. But still... They stop the Rift Herald again. Mm -hmm. The Rift Herald been stopped by both teams at this point. I'm sure it's sort of a bittersweet situation. Apex, oh, we want the Rift Herald, and Ray is, yes, they didn't <laughs> give it to someone else. Yeah, so, uh, yes, they stopped it because I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have taken it at that point? Shrimp? Yeah. Probably. Or maybe they would have just left it there on the ground forever. <laughs> He'll eventually go by the pit. Yeah. Ray, someday Ray will pick it up. And they say, to this very day. <laughs> I think Ray jumps on them as soon as they're on the ground. So yeah. like, I bet you in solo queue, even when the jungler wants it, he's the guy who's like already standing there. Yeah, when it dies. Give him question mark pings afterwards. <laughs> but it's like, no, it's really good on them. Once again, Apex trying to keep a lock on Depurian. So much damage coming through. Off of this poke from Kane, he keeps throwing out these bombs. And then you have this siege I was talking about with the four-man unit, where the traps come down. Apollo is quite good at putting them in the right places. He needs to get one on the top side of the turret as well, kind of hide it in the turret. And that catches a lot of people off guard. Ray in the exact same spot he's been for the past three games, split pushing in a solo lane against Zig. Not too much of a CS advantage this time, yeah. as Zig finally able to keep pace with some of the damage that Ray is putting out and the minion waves being dropped, but that effectively keeps him occupied for the duration of this game, which allows Apex to continue to run around with this four-man gank squad. Yeah, it hasn't been performing too many ganks. It's just, it's trying to see, to trying to make people run back and forth, back and forth, yeah. uh, until they actually find somebody caught out of position. P1, they want to do that. They want to be able to have priority in lanes and then roam to the sides. And just what was working for them was where they were diving turrets with the Lissandra and that heartbreaking uh, ultimate that ended up not killing Keen, just barely, literally one sliver of HP left on him. Canceled auto attack, abilities used on Braum. Like those little things just added up to a team fight loss. Those are very tiny things. Yeah, gotta be pretty demoralizing. Oh, but here goes the Rift Herald. This time it's Phoenix One who are going to take it. Ray's finally on that side of the map, but it's not going to be his. And Rift Herald will be secured. They're going to gift it over to Zentinel. Ooh, okay. Yeah, because Zig is not on that side of the map. They hear Rift Herald go down, so they know it's time to take a visit to the bottom side of the map. Maybe set up Mountain Drake, continue pushing this side in. Put pressure on Zig. 
Yeah, Apollo's getting some damage onto the turret right now, along with some help from Expecial and Shrimp. The Zig will be able to heal it back up. With that recall, that's going to put Phoenix One back on this bottom side of the map in time for that Mountain Drake to spawn. However, Keen has been able to get some huge chip damage on that turret, whittling it away wave after wave. Oh, Apex tied in the bush. Oh, they've caught Sentinel. He repels away, gets over to the Raptor camp. Oh, and is able to flash the cat. Oh, there's so much damage there on the gate. So squishy. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a runic echoes on Trim. But Apex know that they can finally knock down this mid-tier one turret, and with the Mountain Drake up, they could look to follow it up with the their third Drake of the game. I feel like that did way more damage than it should have. Somebody else must have hit him at the same time with like a Apollo must have hit him with something. Yeah, Apollo helping Troop out right now take down that. Oh, it was a bomb. Ah, okay. Yes, yeah. that's what it was. Is there was a spiderling with a bomb on it, and then the explosive cast killed it, so the bomb went off at the same time as the explosive cast. Yeah, Keen doing some serious damage. Completed his Rod of Ages, completed the Morellos. About 35 CS. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be even harder to lock him up and kill him because he has that HP from the Rod of Ages, and he also has Merc Treads now, so his tenacity is actually quite high. That Chrono Shift is going to be coming off the cooldown quite a bit. Kyrian now being gifted over blue buff to try to more effectively deal with Keen shoving waves into him over and over. Keen actually getting a level ahead. Yeah. Now that Baron is a spawned yeah. on the map, Phoenix have to clean out vision. Yeah, but here's the thing is, look at everybody on Apex. They're, they're not in position for this. Their vision is really poor. This could be a pick here. P1 want to set this up. Oh, they send four members towards the top side. This is that Zerg play that has worked so yeah. well for oh. them. Oh, I think they just might have been spotted. Yeah, a, a ward went over the wall. Mash is out and Shrimp is going to check it anyway. Yeah, the barrel finally gets tossed. Oh, Shrimp two levels up now with the help of Zillion. Apex don't have a tier one on that side, but Apex decide to let it go. They decide instead to rush down the mid lane. Zig has to go bottom to deal with Ray. One of these tier two turrets is going to go down. One, if not both, but they're still going to get priority on mid. Everybody's going to be on top of it. And yeah, it's probably going to be this mid one as they get the siege online. Very close. Very close. Yeah, Gate's finally going to catch up. There's the claw. Apollo? Oh, Apollo's getting very greedy for it, but he dodges the cocoon and is still able to get this tier two turret. Oof. Yeah, Keen right off on the wing. So if that was a flash ultimate from Pyrian, they would have caught Apollo because he doesn't have a QSS, but it's still... May have been something they got with him, but whoa! Oh, the flash, woo. but Sentinel gets the cocoon. However, he gets caught by a barrel and will still end up going down as Apex continue to chase forward. They don't have a lot of... Oh, oh it, it. Took, takes it too soon as far as the flash to get out. Apex get their fourth kill of the game. And now they get to go back to this mid lane, shove it forward. They may even just make a visit bot there with the speed of Zillion and just shove Zig off the turret and get themselves another one. Yeah, the Keen catches right back up. Zig finally will lose this tier two turret that he's been protecting for so long. Oh, man, these Ocean Drakes are adding up here. It's actually really fast and how quickly uh, Apex is just regening HP and MP. Yeah, some huge value for Apex. 6,000 gold ahead, 23 minutes in. Next Drake will be an Infernal to help them team fight even more and look for these picks. Phoenix won though. They tried looking for a pick, weren't quite able to find it. Gate tosses out the grass, but doesn't lock it down. Oh, oh feigns it. Doesn't Pyrian. have his barrel, though. Here comes Keen. Pyrian went the wrong way. He's now taking a lot of oh. damage, forced to ult himself. There's the trap. Ray coming in from behind. Let's see if he can catch anyone. Finally, he goes down, but Ray takes a lot. He's forced to flash away. Zig keeping Apollo occupied. However, that's right into Ray's waiting arms. There's the chrono shift. Keep going. Oh, we will be able to chase it down and get the kill. Zentinel on a trap of his own. That's three members of Phoenix One dead. So far, a perfect game for uh, Apex. Yeah, Apex, besides the lane swap turrets, haven't given up anything. No dragons. No barons, no kills, and no turrets aside from that. So they're playing really well right now off of those early kills. That Keen getting away absolutely changed the game in that first play. Sentinel's here. Sentinel 
Yeah, he's going one versus five, and Apollo chases him down. Rappel's not going he to be able to save him. There goes a teleport. Sentinel will finally drop, and Pyrian gets out. This is Baron going over to Apex One. A Apex. They have one win. Yes. yes. <laughs> I saw the one. <laughs> you get to three games. Yep. Your mind starts going. But yeah, Apex, pick up the Baron. Large advantage here. 10,000 gold, very close to it, just 800 short. This turret is going to be that 800 that they need. Yeah, almost clinical in this match. Furion's got to go. Going on to Ray. No keen. Oh, there's no keen to save him. He's knocked up, finally drops. Oh, Look, the first the kill. However, they're going to answer back with a kill onto Piri, and Apollo has got so much damage. Yeah, Apollo playing absolutely incredibly on this, Caitlyn. But here's the thing is all these guys, you know, they have things that put themselves in stasis. So yeah, throw down the traps. What's this comp going to do to you? They don't have somebody who's with the team that's going to soak the traps for you. You don't have a Braum that puts up a shield. You don't have uh, a gigantic tank like a Maokai. And Apollo gets to put a trap down. Blah blam And there he goes down. And then they try to turn on Ray. And it's more of the same. Zig comes through. The TP, Apollo put a trap on top of the TP. So the Zig takes a gigantic chunk when he comes out. And then they pick him up as well. And just even more of that. So Zig. Yeah. Well, it's got to be frustrating when you come out of a teleport and you're trapped already and you're already chunked. Really, really difficult to deal with as Apex are giving Phoenix One the old runaround on the map. 10,000 gold lead 25 minutes in. Huge advantage accumulating. Now the Infernal Drake is going to spawn in 15 seconds and Apex are already grouped up on that side of the map. Ray prepping a wave in the bottom lane. And with Baron buff still on them for another two minutes, Apex still have got a window to continue to push down some turrets. Oh man, four drakes for them. Absolute control of this game for Apex. Phoenix one, Pyrian, he's not having the same type of game. Shut down, ADCS down at the moment. Absolutely so much attention in this mid lane. And you can see how those early fights really dictate the pace of the game. Keen already level 16 and it's going to be even harder for them to get back in the game on P1 side. This gold advantage is huge, but it's a 30-second ultimate for Keen already. Oh, Shrimp has caught Gate once again. The flash cast, and he even nets the kill from behind. It's 10 to 1. Ray feeling emboldened. Will turn on to Zig with oh, a so much lot damage. of true damage. He's got a turret to deal with. He's taking a lot. Oh, oh and he finally drops a little bit too much there. Special though, will take some damage from Pyrian, but Trim chases back, lands the barrel. There's a zone trap. And the trap's right on top oh. of it. He ults himself, however, before he can be snared. There it finally goes. Shrimp has still been in the front line. He gets rezzed by the Chrono Shift, and Expecial will finally drop Pyrian. And Shrimp is back at full health. Yeah, this tank already hard to take down in the first place, and they still get him back up, full HP. And Keen's ultimate is already half off of cooldown. So there's that too. Apex can just siege over and over. And Trimp actually caught by a snare here. It's again four versus four. Pyrian is dead. Ray will be up in two seconds. He's actually got his teleport. Baron's going to last for about another 10 seconds, and they're going to use it to try breaking down this inhibitor turret. There's just so many things to avoid. You have to avoid the bombs on the ground. You have to avoid the Caitlyn traps. Ooh, Stranglethorn knockup gets dodged by a special. There's a pillar mash. Oh, gosh. He's Shrimp waiting for the cast. He does have it back up. He misses. Oh, but the a huge stun on the far side is going to be able to pick up one, two, and it's going to be three. Not quite. Zentinel gets away. One, two kills, but this is now the inhibitor as well, and mash giving it a bit of a taunt spam. 13 to 2 in favor of Apex. Yeah, Apex playing absolutely flawlessly right now. Period. Hold in on. From behind. Apollo's down. No, but he's not. not. Keen is able to save him. He's got his flash, and Ray drops the kill on Dapirian. Mash overextends. He goes down to Ray. Yep. Fast fingers there from Keen, able to get the ultimate off onto Pyrian. I thought that the ultimate, or sorry, the ultimate onto Apollo. I thought that Pyrian was going to be able to lock Keen up and then blow up Apollo, but that's not what happened. Oh, Keen goes down too. Double bomb gets an execution. Sentinel will watch as his Nexus will drop, and Apex will win this game against Phoenix One, two to one over the course of the series. Apex take the win. And Apex put them.